Hello and welcome to my channel. So today's video is traditional try and haul. I'm sorry for the echo you might be hearing. I'm filming in my new office, which is almost empty. I put a carpet here, but apparently it's not helping. But anyways, today we'll review a few pieces from Mango's new collection. It is a mix of casual with some evening holiday items. As you can see, I'm already in the holiday mood. Uh, as usual, all sizes and links to everything you can find in the description under this video. And now let's move straight into it. And I would like to start with this gorgeous white satin blouse that looks so chic and expensive. Unfortunately, it is already sold out, but I'm sure due to such success, it will come back in stock soon. It is made of 94% viscose and 6% linen, which is great from one side. I always stand for natural fabrics, but on the other hand, it gets so easily wrinkled. And because of these folds on the neck, it's quite difficult to iron it. So if you have a steamer, I think it will do a better job than an iron. But anyways, I'm still not sure how I feel about this moment here. And this is probably the only thing that confuses me since in general it shimmers so beautifully and it's just a really chic thing to have which will certainly complement any evening outfit. Next, I have this absolutely stunning shoes made of semi-transparent black fabric, all studded with rhinestones. They're kind of a replica of Gucci shoes from the Aria collection that were inspired by era of 90s, beginning of offs. They have pointy but at the same time cut off square toe and a kitten heel, and there is a fixing strap at the back as well. My shoe size is 35, but this model starts from 36 and I took it. Sometimes it happens that 36 fits fine on me. And they almost did, but still a bit loose. Uh, but in any case, I find them to be really beautiful and no less comfortable because of low heels and here is this arch of fabric on the front, which is very soft. So in theory, they should not rub. And if you have normal foot size that is full 36 and beyond, then I highly recommend them. Well, when I put this bodysuit, all I want to do instantly is just sit and dance Beyonce. Oh, 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 oh. Which is great, I love Beyonce, but honestly, this piece, even if it looks not that bad on footage, is a complete disaster, and I'm gonna tell you why. Well, firstly, those shoulder pads sticking out so badly, so that texture under the fabric is clearly visible, and the quality of this fabric. You know, sometimes there is such polyester use for the evening dressy items, which looks pretty decent, but not in this case. Right here, its fabric shines, it looks very cheap and feels unpleasant on the body, so it's guaranteed return. Next, I have an item you can see me wearing right now. It is a black crop top with a heart-shaped neckline and rhinestones decor. It is quite minimalistic, yet it's more on the dressy side. And I would say it looks great with everything, trousers, skirts, and even jeans. And I would leave it as a basic top for creating evening, going out looks. By the way, I just released a video last week on how to build your perfect evening capsule. So if you're interested, feel free to watch it after this one. And I will leave a link for you in the description. Second item you can see me wearing right now are those silvery waterfall effect earrings with rhinestones, which also look very elegant. It's indeed very popular model of earrings and it seems that they are still relevant. I didn't like them at first, but once you try them, they look just so beautiful and I think it's ideal option for any holiday or night out event. I also really like these earrings in gold. Here is this kind of knot on top with a long falling golden and pearl strings. However, then you put them on for the first time, especially right after unpacking. They look uneven and somehow crooked, but if you let them hang for a while, I hope they will straighten and look much better. Also, with such earrings, I think it's essential to raise your hair and make any kind of updo hairstyle so they don't get tangled in your hair, plus for sure it looks much more elegant. The last piece of jewelry for today is this bracelet. My mother bought herself exactly the same necklace and once I saw a bracelet, I couldn't help myself but take it as well. Here basically we have pearls that are randomly placed in a thin chain. I also like that pearls here are not rounded but are closer to their natural shape, you know. Of course, these are not real pearls but still I like this bracelet and I think it looks very cute. Next, I have a chic midi skirt with satin feel in chocolate color. It's slightly longer than usual midi, but in principle, I even like it. It looks amazing with boots. They're also available in black, and by the time I was placing my order, I wanted black ones so badly, but they were completely sold out. And I cannot blame them, since this kind of satin skirt is always relevant for both evening and everyday outfits. And the great news are that they're back in stock right now and available in all sizes, both black and chocolate color. So I suggest take a closer look at them while you can. I have wanted spindle leggings for quite a while. They have been around for one, maybe two years already, so finally here we are. 
And this is the person who runs a YouTube channel about style and fashion. Hello. So, in general, they fit it nicely. I got them in this uh, off-white color, which in person looks like a dirty white. Not very impressed with this shade, but they have pretty natural composition of 66% viscose and they're also available in black. They feature middle rise, I would say, although I wish it was higher, but anyway, I think it's pretty good yet stylish basic item. I also bought this moon shape bag in camel color on a short strap. It is made of soft leather and as you can see it's roomy enough, perfect for everyday and also it instantly gives any outfit that extra dose of style. The last bonus, it's attractive price, since after all it's still mango. I think if you want a trendy bag but you're not sure how long this trend gonna last, you know, apart from timeless models that are worth investing, there are others that come and go and what's even worse, after being at the peak of popularity, they become an anti-trend. So in such cases, if you are not sure, I think it's better just to buy a nice model from mass market and enjoy it rather than spend thousands on luxury brands. I have a weakness for chocolate color lately and it just seems to me so warm and noble. So I got myself a basic short sleeve turtleneck sweater. It's quite thin, soft and very pleasant to the body. I like to wear such sweaters if you're not spending a lot of time outside and stay mostly indoors. So this way you don't have to wear a scarf outside, your neck and chest remain in warm and at the same time you don't get hot in it indoors either. That's all for me on this note, I thank you so much for watching, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing and I will be happy to see you in my next one. Bye guys!